who speak in the country uh, probably can break it down a little bit more and با درود من فرنوش تبا تبایی از گروه پجواک شیران ایران The Voice of Iranian Lions امروز که روز ده دسام و روز آزادی روز حقوق بشر هست برنامه ای رو تهیه دیدیم در مورد مشکلات جورنالیست ها خبرنگاران و آزادی بیان که در این همایش سه سخنران داشتیم که ما را با مشکلات که در ایران هست آشنا کردن و در قسمت دوم برنامه هم پرسش و پاسخ داریم و در این همایش از گروه های مختلف دعوت کردیم چون که ما معتقد هستیم که با به تفاوت ها پرداختن و نظرات مختلف هست که میتونیم به یک ایران دموکرات در آینده برسیم پاینده ایران could play a crucial role in covering and reporting the events, reporting on such a sensitive issues, especially during revolution, can be changing due to the polit being ordered by judicial authorities or security forces to come for inter interrogations has increased dramatically in the last year. Mr. Ahmed, Mr. Ahmed Jalali Farahani, before his speech, we are going to show you a short teaser from his documentary, We Are Journalists. Uh, that was nominated to the Bodil uh, uh, Prize uh, in 2015. Today it will be useful, the day when someone wants to review the history of Iranian journalism during Mahmoud Ahmadinejad's presidency. Until today, I was the editor of the editor-in-chief of the Mazandaran uh, province Desk and know that I am. Adolf Hitler had some sympathizing journalists, and people who try to form the public opinion. Today to listen and learn. Uh, I'm here because I met Marouche in my local pharmacy um, when I went down to get some stuff for my small baby, and she said, "Why don't you want to come and join our meeting about uh, press freedom and uh, freedom of speech?" And this is, uh, of course, a matter that has been to my interest for a lot of years, but I'm a baby. And uh, most of you are living in Denmark and we've been used to having the freedom of speech. So what I want to do by being here today... ...speak in the country, uh, probably we can break it down a little bit more and uh, discuss about how 